Hi everyone. I was having a uh, discussion with Sean Smoke the other day and uh, he r mentioned that he wanted to see a video of how I did, uh, how I uploaded my videos using the Chromebook. Um, I don't have a really good laptop or uh, desktop uh, to, uh, to, to do this with, but I found that with the Chromebook, with some limitations, I can do it and it seems to work okay. Uh, this is, uh, this is my Samsung Chromebook right here and a mouse. I like to use a mouse with it, so I have the little adapter right here. I don't know if you can see that little adapter so you can use that. Um, this is the helmet I use. Um, uh, this is, uh, I've showed you a video on this before. This is where I mounted my uh, Drift, my, H, uh, my Drift HD Ghost camera. And uh, the uh, microphone just plugs right in. And you might be able to see it. There's the mic. Uh, there's the microphone right there. It's hard to see because it's got the little black pushy thing on it, but that works. That fits right in the right, just right under my lower lip, and it's a great place. Seems to pick it up pretty good. And this kind of blocks the uh, this part here blocks the uh, wind from getting in. I do have a windshield too, so it works out. But uh, okay, let me show you show you what I do. Uh, nothing to it. Uh, okay, first thing you do. Uh, I, I take the camera off of the helmet to make it a lot easier to work with. This is the mount where it slides into the mount that I made. And you hook up your USB cord for it. And this is a mini USB and I guess it, and it's got a regular USB on the Chromebook. I have two slots for that and uh, I just I plug it into there and that will take care of that. Now when you plug it in it will start trying to charge the uh, the camera that's just automatic even if the Chrome since the Chromebook is not even on but it will read it as a chargeable device and it will just start charging it so uh, that's where we go that's that'll automatically start out okay once you plug in your USB device to the Chromebook if you go to the files which is this right here um, you'll see that the drift card actually has popped up and it has a little notice down here as well so you go over here and click on your drift card and it will come up with system volume information and DCIM. Click on DCIM. That comes up to 100 drift. Click on that. Now this is your videos. Whatever videos you have shot on your video card on your computer will be here. Now it assigns, the drift assigns a number to it. Unless I were to reformat everything, it's going to continue to keep track of numbers. Um, and these are just videos that I've shot. Uh, some of them are just a few minutes long. Some of them are quite long. But uh, we're going to go with the earliest one. Now the date is off on the camera. Uh, it's saying that this was shot yesterday. But uh, if you come down here and you'll notice that there's one that's a THM file and one that's an MPEG file. You always use the MPEG. The, the THM file is for something else and I never use it for anything. Okay, and you click on it and it's going to come up here at the bottom and just open it and we'll take a look at it. Okay, that's the video I want to use. Okay, we'll stop that and we'll get back out of there. Okay, now, um, what I want to do is I want to go upload this to YouTube. So I'm going to come down here to YouTube and I'm going to click on the icon. That's it right down here at the bottom if you can see my cursor. That's YouTube right there. And I'll have to come up here. All right. Now this is the main screen. This is of course uh, my YouTube. It automatically logs me into my account. Um, but I come over here and there's an upload icon right here. That's all we need to do. Just hit upload. And it's going to give us a new screen. It'll bring us to this. Now I want all of my videos to be private until I'm through with them. So you click on public and you come down here and you'll see private right there. And we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, now when you're ready to upload, you come up here and select files to upload. Now this is going to read everything on your computer, but right now, since it's highlighted on the drift card, it's going to show me what is on the camera. And if we remember, it was one of these, it was this number 64 was the one I want to use. So I click on that, and then I come down here and click open again. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's going to automatically start uploading it to YouTube. Um, here's the information that it shows you. Um, it shows you that this is the number, this is the name of your video. VI quadruple 64 is what it says here according to that. There's no description yet. It is a private video and it's going to take three minutes to upload to YouTube. 
So um, you just wait until that is done. Uh, that's two minutes. Um, there's nothing to this. There's really nothing else you can do here. You can go. There's a, you can change the name if you want here. There's no point in it because you're going to have to change it again later uh, when we go to the editor. Um, it just automatically assigns a new name, so it's, you're just doubling your work if you do any information here. So just wait a few minutes. We've got two more minutes going. Uh, let me, let's just compress that out. We'll skip right on to it. Okay. It's processed. We've come back uh, to our video manager, and we're looking. There is our number, the VI quad quadruple 064 that's it right there okay um, this is now uploaded to YouTube as a basic file uh, we haven't edited it we haven't done anything with it it's not what you would want to show necessarily you could but if you want to add anything to it we have to go follow these steps okay so where it says edit right here hopefully we can see the cursor okay um, you're gonna click on the arrow and we want to go to uh, enhancements now this you want to enhance your video so we're gonna to go to enhancements uh, it will pop up to this screen. Now, I don't use this screen for any of this. I'm going to actually kill the sound so we won't have to listen to it. Down here in this corner, right here, it says YouTube, try the YouTube editor, that video editor. That's what I always use. Okay. Now, when you first click over to this, <coughs> it's going to come up with uh, whatever project you were working on before. Uh, this is a, these are all my videos right here, and so what you'll do is you want to go over here to projects and you want to start a new project, and it will ask you if you want to. You go yes. Okay, now we're now we've got a blank slate. We can do anything we want. Okay, um, let's uh, say we want to put a title on our video. These are all the icons. That's the videos that you see. Uh, that's Creative Commons. I don't use that's if you want to add a a photo. This is if you want to do music. This is your transitions. And this is letters, if you want to put any, any words on it. OK, uh, center title is what I end up using. You, you do have others. They have Zoom. They have Slide. But they don't have an awful lot of different ones. I'll just use this one here. You click on right click, uh, excuse me, left click on it, and drag it down here to the bottom where it says uh, uh, drag videos here and just let it go. Now this is actually playing as it would play. It's just as an example text. Um, what you can do now is if you if you like that what's you know if you like the font if you like everything you change the font you can change the font here you can make it bold or or, or not um, you can do italics, you can make it medium, you can make it larger, I'll make it larger. Uh, the color's okay, white on black is fine for this. Now what we want to put in there, let's just put in a word, let's put, uh, let's put uh, uh, CB for Chromebook, and then test, T-E-S-T, -E okay. Now, once that's in there, that automatically saves, that is right there as you can see. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. Come back down here to where it shows a little camera, and click on that and that will bring uh, everything cleared up back here again. Um, come back over here to videos. Uh, now look on here and we'll find our videos. Ours was number 64. So you left click on it, drag it over here and you put it right there too. Now this is going to play just only what is highlighted by the blue bars here. The whole thing to see it would be to click on the camera again and it will start from the beginning. There you go, see, so that shows that. Now, if you wanted to put a transition in there, you can click on right here, transitions, and you could drag it down here, and as you can see, it splits apart, and you would put it right in between there. And we'll just add one, just to show you what it looks like. Come back over and hit the camera thing again, and uh, let's start it from the beginning, though. CB test, see how it faded in? Uh, that, that's pretty cool, I like to use that feature quite a bit. Okay. Say so we're done with it. Let's put a uh, another transition to finish uh, the video up. We'll do another crossfade, and then we'll come back in. Again, we have to do this to get back where we want to go, um, and we go back to the the title. Go back down. Uh, if I remember right, last time we made it bold and we made it bigger, so we'll just make everything the same. Made it large. Uh, we'll use the color and all the same, and we'll put. Uh, end on it. How about that? E N D. Okay, again, as soon as you type it, it is saved. You can delete it, 
but it is automatically saved. Okay, we come back over here and let's uh, click and see what our video looks like, and we'll turn the sound back on. Okay, this is just a little video I'm shooting this to help with another video that I want to do, which is to show you how I upload and edit my uh, videos that I post onto YouTube. I just want to make this short because I want to make it easy to upload and quick. Uh, so it won't take too long so we can do it on the actual, uh, actually do it on the screen. And hopefully I can get all that captured with another camera so that I can show you step by step how I do it. Okay, well, I think this is probably pretty enough footage for that. So uh, I'll cut it off here. See, there's the finish. It stops right there. Okay, if you're happy with that, and I think that's pretty good for this example. If you're happy with that, you come over here, upper right hand corner, it says create video. Now don't worry, you're not starting anything that's going to be shared with anybody else because remember we did specify private at the beginning. So you click on create video and it's going to come up with a confirmation that the video is indeed private and that you can't see it. Uh, what it's actually doing is it's processing. Now, of course, you're creating the video. You can look at it if you want to, um, but here's where you want to go. You want to go back to your YouTube. Now, to gain access, remember, we've got to put some more information on this because we skipped it before. Uh, if the title of it was simply My Edited Video uh, or New Project, and when you do New Project, it's going to come up with My Edited Video. So we go to Channel again because uh, that's where your videos are and then we come over here video manager up here at the top again go to video manager and uh, click on that and it's going to take us there and voila there is my processing video this is my edited video okay now if you look over here and you see this little padlock it might be hard to see there's a little padlock there that means that it is private it means no one can see that so uh, let's go and put some information on it. We'll click uh, edit again, and you can do this while it's processing, no problem. Uh, info and settings. Uh, we're going to come over here and we're going to call this, uh, you, you just erase that, what's in there now for the title and see the title went away. And uh, you can just put on there to uh, test uh, video. Okay. Uh, they always come up with created this video with. Uh, YouTube editor and that's fine you can do that if you wanted to add you can always erase this if you want to say what it is say like you know I was doing a test for my camera and I'm doing a video this is where you would type it in right here you do you just wipe all this out and just put it in that spot there if you want it to link to something if you want your video to link to a particular motorcycle or a camera or a place or anything anything you want people to be able to find it you put it in this down here this lower one where it says YouTube editor um, no problem there. Okay, now if you uh, over here again, you can see it says private. You don't have to do anything with the playlist. Uh, it did come up with a little thing here to save changes. We don't want to do that quite yet because we've got more to do. Um, if you monetize, you'll click on this and go to monetization. Uh, I don't monetize, so I don't ever go there. Uh, advanced settings, you do want to click on that. Now what this has, this has all your default setups for allowing comments, uh, rating, you can rate the video, whether it's got the standard license or not. Uh, one thing I do always have to put in is the caption certification. Uh, I just do this. Uh, content is never aired on television in the United States. Boom. Uh, there's no reason to do that, I don't suppose, but I do it anyway. Um, and the only other thing I ever put on here, you can change your category. It's under travel and events. You can do it under anything that they list. Uh, it's not a problem. You can put a location for your video if you want that. Uh, but uh, I usually do the recording date. It was today, so I can just simply click on today without ever typing anything else in. Okay, everything we've got in there done, we've done. We've done this page. We've got our new title, which is test video. Uh, now we're ready to save the changes. Again, this doesn't do anything as far as posting the video because it is still private. And we'll click that. And those are all changed now. Now we can go back to your YouTube and um, go back again. Uh, I just like to get out and come back in. It just seems to uh, keep things straight in my mind and make it a little easier to do too. Okay, we got there on there. We can come back over here and we'll look at Video Manager and um, again. And we'll pop in there and it should come up with our, our video. And yes, it is there and it is now titled Test Video. And the processing is started. Now it's a short video. It won't take long. 
Uh, any of you guys know if you've ever tried to do any length of videos, these things take, can take quite a while to upload, I mean hours uh, easily on some things. Um, this is a very short video, it's a 43 second one, so it doesn't take that many minutes for it to upload, but it all depends on of course your Wi-Fi speed or your, up your upload speed uh, is to get it in there and, and what YouTube will, uh, will accept and how fast it will work. So uh, we'll come back here in just a second when this is done and I'll show you how to finish it up. Okay, once your video has finished processing, it'll come up over here uh, in your video manager. It'll come up under your videos. And uh, here's the one we did. It was test video, and there it is. It's 43 seconds long. Uh, we didn't add anything really to it uh, uh, so much as uh, uh, the other video. So we're going to, all we did was add transitions and all. So we're going to come in here and we're going to click on info and setting because we, we just want to make sure we got everything we need. And uh, we'll come over here and Okay, if that's the picture we like, we go with that. It's the middle picture. We can always pick one of the others and it will change out. If everything looks good, we've got our test video, we've got all information, we can go over here to publish it, and that just means clicking from private to public. And it, allow, it comes up with a message and allows you to share it on Google Plus if you want, if anywhere else. And then all you have to do is hit publish. And the publish will, it'll, uh, the video will publish just as soon as it is. Uh, uh, put together by YouTube as soon as it's finished and you just click that. I'm not going to do that on this particular video because I don't want to actually publish this one since it was just a test. But hopefully that's everything you need to know. Uh, this is how I do it with the Chromebook. The Chromebook is very lightweight. It's very portable. It was inexpensive. I don't I didn't have to buy any other software. I don't have to use anything other than what comes with the Chromebook. I'm using everything via YouTube. Now it's not the best thing in the world. Uh, you don't you don't get the same effects that some of you guys are already getting with your other with your other software. But uh, for just posting up a video, um, I can't think of anything that's easier or cheaper. Um, if you do, please let me know. I'm always looking for something different. But there we go. That's it. That's all I had to say about it. And uh, have fun with yours. Uh, you know, if you have a Chromebook or you need something portable to take with you anywhere where there's Wi-Fi, you can do what I just did. All right. Well, you guys take care, and we'll see you later. Bye bye.